A Peabody is a prestigious celebration for stories that matter. In time, a single family is dealing with life and incarceration over decades. In the film, we, the viewer, are invited to experience hope and the struggle to sustain love and life across the divides of incarcerations, as this family does. Of the 2.3 million adults in prison in the U.S., 40% are black. Now, black people, of course, only make up 13% of the U.S. population. It is my honor to congratulate Garrett Bradley and Time for their Peabody Award in Documentary. I met my husband, Robert, when I was 16 years old. I had married my high school sweetheart. We had purchased our first home, put the deposit down on our first business. We were about to blow up. At that time, armed robbery carried a five to 99 year sentence. And on June 15th, 1999, my husband was sentenced to 60 years in prison without the benefit of probation, parole, or suspension of sentence. Time is influenced by our emotions. It's influenced by our actions. Time is when you look at pictures from when your babies were small and then you look at them and you see that they have mustaches and beards. And that the biggest hope that you had was that before they turned into men, they would have a chance to be with their father. Hi everybody, uh, my name is Garrett Bradley. Um, I am incredibly i um, honored to be accepting this award on behalf of my entire film team, um, Kellen Quinn and Lauren Domino, Dan Janby, Rebecca Wisan. I want to thank our incredible partners and allies, um, Concordia Studios, Amazon Studios, Davis Guggenheim, Jonathan Silberg, Nicole Stott, Roddy Taylor, uh, for seeing the value of a film like this being in a place that is unavoidable, in a place that's unequivocal, um, in a place that, that will be seen. Uh, in a place that is mainstream. There are 2.3 million American families that are currently incarcerated. And there's then if not double, triple, quadruple that number um, that are also serving time on the outside. The prison industrial complex is invisible by design. And so I think it's actually very difficult for us to imagine 2.3 million people it's very difficult for us to imagine 18,000 acres dedicated to the imprisonment of people, um, such as Ang Angola State Prison, which is in Louisiana. Um, and so in some way, our film was also really aimed at trying to counteract invisibility, um, to, to show um, that images and that seeing um, can hold systems accountable sometimes when nothing else can. And it was through um, the power and the generosity of the Richardsons, um, of Fox, of Robert, of Malik, of, of Remington, of Lawrence, of Justice, of Freedom, of Robert Jr., um, of Miss Peggy, um, for sharing with us their story, which is a story that is both exceptional and universal. And it is a story of love, um, the power of love, the potency of love, love as a critical and equal form of resistance, love which surpasses all time and space. And so I think from all of us, we'd like to thank the Peabody Committee for seeing us and for seeing the power of love and for this recognition. Thank you. <laughs>